Okay, today we're going to teach you guys how to play with your images um, on Flash. First thing we need to do is, oh, we'll start a new here. Okay, now I got my new stage here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up with an image to, to just to speed up time here. I'm going to import one of my libraries here. Uh, let me see here. Maybe not a good idea. Here, I'm just going to open this real quick. Okay. Now, I got a library with all pre made stuff. And today we're going to teach you how to blur and how to manipulate your image. And I'm learning as well at the same time. So, first off, I need a background. Let me quickly choose one. Um, I don't have a really good one here. Let me see. We'll just go with the office for now. Welcome to my office. Okay, let's say that you had make another layer and on this layer you had somebody standing there which would be let's go with a monkey yeah there you go retarded me but you wanted it you got all this stuff back here that is getting in the way of the the main character and you want main character close enough all right and you want to blur this whole background out what you do is you select it make sure this is a movie clip and it is an instance or simple I'm sorry this music's distracting <laughs> uh, new symbol and then create your thing and you get a symbol and make sure the symbol is a movie clip. You can make a button and a graphic. Make sure it's a movie clip. Hit filters down here. The white plus. And you see all these possibilities for this. And today we're going to do blur. And right away it just blurs. But down here you can blur more. Less. Perfect. Now, I could change the quality to a higher quality. Which makes that perfect right there. And so the whole background's not distracting distracting anybody. Let's say that we want to drop a shadow. See, it drops a shadow. It's all here for you to play with. These are all the options. This is everything you need to know about managing your backgrounds. If I go into it, I can still edit it, move things around, you know, and it, go back. Let's say I just want to move this chair here, and then I go back, and then I put this guy here. You know, it still it works. So, this is an easy way without going through Photoshop and blurring it through there and bringing it back in and it takes a lot more to do. This way, it's easy, fast, you know, they built it in so it's it's great, it's wonderful. Um, and that's my tutorial for today, uh, have fun with it.